Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how to create a scrapbook collage. I made a video like this a couple years ago, but a lot of people seem to like it and it's become more popular. So I'm going to show you how I make it. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I do is I lay out a bunch of um, these tabs in my browser. So one's Instagram. This is Tori's photographer. Another one's an Instagram photo downloader. Another one's Unsplash where there's just high quality photos I can use. There's Google and then I found um, this site where there's just a bunch of different photos from the shoot, the cover art shoot. And lastly is this website where it produces these letters that are just randomized. I like to use this website instead of like a normal font just because it looks more organic, especially in a scrapbook type of environment. So the first thing I want to do is I want to just copy and paste these texts basically onto my canvas. So I got my canvas right here. Um, I chose to do 1080 by 1350 because that's an Instagram post. So basically, I'm just going to keep cycling through until I find a combination that I like. I want the text to be like darkish because um, the actual cover of what I'm trying to go for. So chick save five is pink and black. Um, so I want to go for a darker theme that's sort of pinkish. So like this is fine because there's pink and it's dark. So we're going to just copy and paste all the letters basically. And then later on, we're going to rotate it. So it looks a bit more authentic. So now that we got the last letter, I'm going to rotate these just randomly. So there's one, I'm gonna select the first four and group them. So there you go. The next five, I'm just gonna follow the layout on how they rotated here. So something like this, and we're actually gonna select all of them and we're gonna press on align vertical centers and then we're gonna group them. So this one's lanes, this one's Tory, and I'm gonna just make sure that both of these are aligned. So I'm gonna press control A and align it. Now we're going to group all of them, call this one text, and then we're going to vertical align horizontally and vertically. So there we go. We have the text. Um, now we're going to start with the cover art. That's usually how I start. A big tip for you guys is if you go to tools, size and large, you'll find the high quality ones. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. The big thing when it comes to this is you want like a unified color. So I want to find like similar cover arts or photos from this photo shoot maybe. So something like this. These colors are different, but the images are sort of the same. So that's cool. And even little things like this, um, these little elements, maybe fan art, anything that matches the theme so that it keeps a consistency to it. So like even merch or something like that, there's merch. Um, or maybe that's fake merch, I don't know. So uh, I pressed on this photo right here and it shows related images. I think these are really good, like this one. So yeah, uh, let's just start with this one because I think it's the most similar. Uh, actually, before we do that, we're gonna cut out this one. So there's a couple good things about this photo is that the bottom gets cut off, you can see. So what we could do is just move it to the bottom and cut off like where the bed is and I'm using the pen tool here, but I don't really care for it to be super exact. A scrapbook is supposed to be like sort of messy in a little way, like in a, in a good way. Um, so I'm going to use the pen tool. I'm not really going to zoom in or anything like that. What I do like about this also is the pictures in the back. So what I might do is I might add that in the back later. The pictures are dark, so like you can actually see the text on top of it. So I might uh, change that up in a bit. Also, when you um, make a selection, you want to make sure that the feather uh, radius is zero so that like it gets cut off very sharply. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to copy this. So where are we going to put this? Somewhere here. And what we can do is we can change the color balance on it so that it's a little bit more pink. So you can see that's a little bit more like it like that and then we want to cut out the part on the left side it looks a little bit weird 
I would even recommend using um, the magic eraser tool. It might even look good sometimes just because it looks a bit more organic. The next thing is you see this part right here, it sort of just cuts off randomly. So what I could do is I could add like a random element, like a cloud or something like that. So let's just say we search up cloud PNG and we save this and we place it somewhere here. Also, it shouldn't be under there. So let's just say we place the cloud on top of this. A little bit under the text, you can see you no longer see that cutoff point. This also looks a bit dull, so I'm going to move this up. So I'm going to go back to the cover art and I'm going to add those pictures in the back. Um, so we're just going to paste it again. And we're going to cut out those pictures and maybe even this V right there. Once again, this can be super rough. Like I don't even want to zoom in because I think it'll look better if I don't. So we're going to make selection, copy it, control C, and I'm going to delete it. We're going to place this just somewhere random, like right there. Um, because the clouds behind the text now, there's no need to add this now, but I think it looks good in the corner. You can see here, I like stuff like this where it's just like text or something. Even this looks cool, adds like the old um, vibe to it. So I'm going to copy this. So we're going to move this all the way to the end. Something like that. And then I'm going to use the magic eraser tool. I'm just going to erase. And you can see there's like weird chunks and stuff coming out. I think it does a good job of just adding um, sort of the same effect that dust and particles do to an image or to a graphic. So I'm just going to erase some of the bigger chunks and then like something like that's good. I'm going to take this graphic. I think this looks cool. We're going to copy and paste this one. Maybe erase the background to something like this. Maybe make it bigger. There you go. And I need a picture of Tory Lanez. Cause he's nowhere to be seen in this. Um, I need to find a picture where he's pinkish, like maybe this or that. It looks a little weird though. Oh, we can take one from the music video, Jerry Sprunger, because that's actually part of the album. So something like this. And the dope thing about this is um, he's on a roof so we can cut off the bottom. So maybe from this, I like this one cause his hand sort of sticking out, it looks cool. We might even take a photo like this, but the problem is it's green. So this one sticks with the sort of vibe because it's purple. So I'm just going to cut it out. We don't need this white panel part. So we'll cut that out too. Anything that's old school like this, 2000s, um, anything R&B will look good. I'm going to go and change the color balance so it's pinkish. So there you go. Now we just need to fill in the gap in the top left, like this. So we want to move it all the way to the bottom. Maybe use the magic eraser tool here. Yeah, that looks cool. Make this smaller so you can actually see the text. And then you can't see the iPod anymore, so we can move that to fill up the gap and then delete that November text so you can see the rest and then I'm going to duplicate this cloud and put it toward the back so that you see that black gap right there it's filled now and because there's only two clouds, I'm going to add another one um, so that it's more even. Like there's one in the top, one in the middle. We need one at the bottom somewhere. Something like that. And we're going to change the color balance on this one too. Gonna move this up a little bit. I think we're good. It filled up everything. Might make this a little bit bigger. Make sure she's in the middle too. That's good. And lastly, we're gonna use some gradient maps, add some texture. So I'm gonna group all this 
And now I'm going to use a gradient map. Typically, I use soft or um, sometimes like subtract or like one of these more abstract ones look good. I'm going to actually probably use soft light. And we want like a unified color, right? So maybe pink and black. Maybe flip it. We don't have to make it 100% too. This just makes it more unified. And then you can see that the highlights are sort of dead now. So you can just up the curves a little bit. Right now it's good because it looks dreamy, which I think um, adds to the concept of the album. Next, I'm gonna group this again, press Control J, and then we're gonna press Control E to merge everything. And I'm gonna sharpen this. So I'm gonna press sharpen more, or you can use smart sharpen as well if you wanna adjust it. Let's just say we do that. I'm gonna add some green. And then we're gonna go here, we're gonna search up texture. Um, maybe dust texture. Something like this, copy it, paste it, rotate it. Go over to screen. Now you can see the dust. And then we're gonna do some last adjustments. One thing I love to do after I add a gradient map is I like to remove a color. So like, let's just say we remove red, which wouldn't be smart. The other colors stand out, um, maybe blue. Well, there's only really two colors here, so it's hard to do with this. Oh, like this. I think this looks a little bit better now. And lastly, I like to add a paper texture. I think Unsplash has good ones. I always use this one. And a tip for overlays, um, you wanna turn the overlay black so that you can use the screen feature. So you can see like the dust filter right here is black. So um, screen just goes on top of it, no problem. But if you, let's just say you make this black and white and you make it white, you can't really do that. Like all these look sort of weird with it. So I'm gonna merge these and then I'm gonna invert it, make it black, and we're gonna use screen. Or maybe color dodge. And then make it bigger. You might not see the difference, but it's there. There's like creases and stuff like that. And if you wanna apply the effect even more, you just duplicate the layer a couple times. And there you go. So yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. This is sort of my thought process when it comes to this stuff. And yeah, that's about it. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.